Greetings and blessings. I'm Pastor Brandon Clay in Main Street. I have a very important announcement for you. We know that we've been out of the building due to COVID-19 protocol since March of this year. But now it's time for us to turn to the sanctuary for Sunday morning only in-person services. And so we want to make sure that everybody knows what we're doing, how the protocols are going to work, and to make sure that we know that we're taking all the precautions to keep the saints safe. I want you to know that if you are immunocompromised, you're not feeling well, or if you do not pass the initial screen, for you to know to just stay at home and continue to utilize the virtual method of worship. We have already made some upgrades to make sure that that worship experience uh, is as optimal as it can possibly be, and you can absolutely continue to do that. But we are just speaking specifically to those who will come into the sanctuary on Sunday morning and join us for our in-person services. I want everybody to know and understand that masks indeed are required throughout this process, so please wear your mask. But by chance, if you don't have one, a mask will be provided for you. So we're asking everyone to take the time to complete the pre-screen online for all that can and will. That does two things for us. It gives us the ability, number one, to plan what our head count will be to make sure that we can receive you safely in the sanctuary. It also gives us the ability to pre-populate the list so that when you come in to meet the screener, we can expedite the time because it will be just as easy as saying, has anything changed since you completed the pre-screen? If you do not complete the pre-screen prior to online, that's okay because we will have the physical forms on site for you to complete prior to entering the building. We ask everyone that can and will, if you're going to submit that pre-screen, to please have it completed and submitted by Saturday at 12 noon prior to that Sunday that you plan to attend to give us the ability to do what we need to do to make sure that all of the administrative work is done. We also ask that if you do not plan to attend service that Sunday, that you not complete a pre-screen because that will uh, skew our numbers um, of those who will actually be showing up at the service. So only complete that pre-screen if you plan to attend, all right? And know and understand that the pre-screens and the temperature checks will take place every single Sunday because we have to have an accurate listing of who's in the sanctuary every Sunday so in case there's an issue or there's com some communication that we have to send out we'll know exactly who to get that communication to and we'll be able to do that in a timely manner so here it is this Sunday September the 6th 11 o'clock a.m. we will be in the sanctuary the doors will open at 10 15 a.m to give us time to go through the pre-screening, but we're going to have service, we're gonna to be together, and we will have communion. So just remember, when you come into the building, complete your thermal check, your temperature check, and your pre-screen, you will be given a bag, a small baggie, with your communion uh, element inside of it if you plan to partake in communion with us. Listen, we're gonna give you all the direction that you need, we're gonna make sure that you understand the process, and as we do this over time, it will become easier and easier every time. So I just want you to know that we're preparing to go back into the sanctuary this Sunday, September the 6th at 11 o'clock a.m. And we're looking forward to all of you that can and will attend. And please know and understand, there is no condemnation for any, any of you who says, I'm just not ready to come back into the service. Uh, I'm immunocompromised. I have small children that I don't want all of that is understandable i want you to know just continue to support and to connect uh, through our virtual means and we will continue to bring you the best uh, that we possibly can in our worship service and value added content look main street i love you the time has finally come so let's do this together we're going in and we're going to do it together may god bless you and god keep you is my prayer <laughs>